Okay, so this is just a quick tutorial on how to use the Bezier Curve feature in Snagit. For arrows and lines, you can use the Bezier Curve tool to help you make smooth curved lines or arrows. Now, I'm going to, in order to draw a straight line for starters, you hold down the shift key and drag. Okay, that way that constrains for a nice straight line. Now, if you want to curve this arrow, you can use this Bezier curve feature. But I'm going to highlight the arrow, okay, and if you apply Bezier curve after the fact, as you can see, it messes the arrow all up. So let's get rid of that arrow. And now with the Bezier curve applied, we're going to click and drag. And as you can see, it works out just fine. So let's get rid of this arrow and I'm going to draw a horizontal one instead. Okay, so as you click and drag, Bezier curves are applied. Here's one of the problems with Snagit. What it does is it applies two control points. Now what I mean by that is if you grab it in the center and you just want this nice little sloping curve, okay, this control point allows you to slope it anywhere you want along the curve, make it as radical as you want, okay. But if you just want this nice little sloping curve or you just want this one curve and you want to be done with it, when you look at the tooltip you can see it still has an arrow on it. That's because Snagit wants to add its second control point to this arrow. Okay, it doesn't want to let you off the hook. It doesn't want to let you end the creation of this arrow. And that's a problem, okay, because no matter where you click, it's going to change what this arrow looks like. Okay, if you click outside of the canvas, if you, wherever you click, okay, it's going to mess this arrow up. So let me click. It just changed what your arrow looks like. Now let me click on the arrow itself. Here's your first control point, here's your second one. So what you're doing is you're endlessly fighting to recreate what you was trying to create to begin with. These two control points work against each other. So what do you do? Uh, there's a couple of ways to get around this less than uh, perfect tool. Okay, let's, uh, let's draw an arrow from scratch. Let's put in our gentle sloping curve. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up, I'm going to grab any tool whatsoever off the toolbar. I'm going to come back to the arrow tool. I'm going to come down here, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to choose flatten. Okay, now this arrow is permanently like that. You can't change it again. Okay, you can't change your mind and do anything with it. So it's a permanent deal. I mean, there you, there's no going back, so it's not perfect, but it does get you out of there, okay? It does get you a complete arrow. Another technique, drag out your arrow. Okay, I drew this from left to right, okay? Because you have to add two control points, if you add the first control point from the point you started, Okay, it, it messed the arrow up a little bit. Grab it from the center. Now you're doing a gentle slope. Okay, and your arrow is complete. Okay, your first control point is down here and your other control point is here. You've got pretty good control that way and you can actually come back and edit it later. Uh, If you draw an arrow from left to right and put a control point where you where you ended your drawing and grab it from the center, you get this strange control. I mean, it's great for controlling this end of the arrow, but it's not a natural feel. So. That's something to keep in mind. One more quick thing. When you're trying to get a really radical slope on an arrow, sometimes you have to zoom your canvas out. Okay. 
because if you're drawing an arrow with radical control points, you may have to take them outside of the canvas area. To get the look you're looking for. Okay, I hope this helps you out, and this was a little bit more than a brief tutorial, but I'm done. Take care.